guys, welcome to this video. We've been anxious to make this video. It's been raining pretty much nonstop the last few days. So today's finally sunny and warm, and so we're out here. We're going to introduce you guys to the new member of the Day by Day Herd. Dun da da da! <laughs> Meet Lady! Sophie calls her Ladybug, even though that doesn't really suit her, because she is not a bug. She's the sweetest horse ever. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about Lady. First of all, where we got her from. So Lady is our trainer's personal horse. Um, you know, Gabby's ridden his personal horses before. Well, Lady started doing lessons recently. And when Sophie first rode her the very first time, she could tell that this horse was such a good match. It's funny how that happens, how you ride a horse for the first time, having with me and Penny, I knew instant, confidence even though I did have wavering confidence throughout my journey with her I in, in knew instant confidence and I knew that I'd be able to ride her forever and that has truly been the case so anyway this is lady and Brandon uh, finally agreed to consider a lease with us she was his walk trot horse yeah for like the little kids because what's really special about her is that she can do she's so she's fast enough and powerful enough to take bigger older riders around i hope you're not rolling in something gross yes you but she's also quiet enough that she can do walk trot lessons and that's one of the big things that we really love about her so brandon agreed to consider a lease and we can buy her if we want she is a Clydesdale crossed with a harness horse. In her past, she's pulled a cart. And I recently said that what's really funny, what's really cool about her is that she's, her breed is super trendy. And what I mean about that is that a lot of people are taking harness horses right now and repurposing them and using them in hunter jumpers and dressage because harness horses are very versatile horses. They have a really amazing personality. They tend to have a willing, happy, outgoing temperament and they are super athletic and that's why people are taking a lot of harness horses. There's like a lot of videos on TikTok. There's a lot of videos out there everywhere and there's been like articles that I've read even about how people are having great success taking these harness horses and redisciplining them and making them into amazing hunter jumpers and dressage horses. So that is definitely what she's in the process of becoming. She's in the process of learning to relax under saddle and put her head down. And while she is new to jumping, Sophie's jumped her a few times and loved it. Um, she is very broke. This horse is dead broke. Like I said, she's so good for beginners. She has had amazing training. She's not a young horse and that really helps. She's a calm horse. Um, she can take a joke. She's incredibly accommodating. She's just such a nice, nice girl. I love her bone structure. I definitely think she definitely needs more muscle. She's doing really well at jumping. Sophie loves jumping her. We're taking it slow because the slow way with horses is the, is the only way. The slow way with horses is the fast way. Comment below what you think would go with Lady. I love the name Lady. That's exactly the perfect name for her. She is such a lady. I'll show you guys her butt. So she's lost a little bit of weight since she came here because the other horses are not incredibly kind. But that's her butt. You can't really tell. <laughs> she has a big butt. So how do you feel riding her? I was shocked how easy she is to ride and I'm so confident on her. She is so confident on her. In fact, have you ridden her since she's been home? Yeah. The trail, Ow. Sophie's taking this horse on a trail. I can't believe it. Like, it's shocking. And you guys know Sophie is the pro self-proclaimed trail hater. How did you find her on a trail? She was really excited. And how are you? Excited too. Did you love it? Yeah. So are you gonna do more trails with her? Yeah. <laughs> she was trying to trot the whole time. Yeah, she just wants to go, 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 but she's not overpowering at all. She's a lot like Penny, but not gated. I don't know how to describe it. So how was your first canter on her? Were you, so, were you scared when you first asked her to canter? So in lessons, our coach said, canter, and Sophie just took off in the canter. Didn't even like question it, didn't even look like she was nervous at all. And then what happened when you started can when she started cantering? It was so smooth. It, it, it was so smooth and so, it wasn't, she's not lazy. There's not a lazy bone in this girl's body, but she wasn't super fast. And Sophie was cantering her around and around and around. And like, you could tell she did not want to stop. And that was like me with Penny. I just cantered like the first time I rode her. So she's going around the ring and she says, mom, 
You would love to rock canter her. You can, even you could canter this horse, and that's saying something. But anyway, as of now, Sylvie is so enamored with this horse. She loves her. The horse knows Sylvie's her girl and looks to her for guidance and for love. And she's still getting in with the herd, and the herd is not being very friendly. The herd is currently down there and down there. We're and over there. We're keeping Storm and Gracie apart from her right now because we don't want her like run off her feet. We want her to be able to eat. She was not happy about that this morning. She loves Gracie. She loves Gracie. She's a, she's such a loving horse. She loves everybody. She's a mom. Like she is a mom. That's that's a really good way for me to describe her. She is the, a mom of a horse. She just loves horses. Like she's our first horse that's like, well, not first. <laughs> Stella was such a friendly, good horse that loved kids and loved people. And this girl is, is so similar. She's the same. And Honey really loves her. She's babying Honey. She babies Honey and Gracie's not impressed with it, but she's not mean to Gracie, so. If there's too much going on, she walks away. Too much drama, she just walks away and separates herself. Like she's just a really nice horse. I love her bone structure. Uh, she needs some muscle. Yeah, she has a nice floaty trot and she picks her legs up really high Which just comes from the from the carriage horse part of her but and she needs Some exercises on relaxation to drop her head and stuff, but all that will come with time She already drops her head a lot more. Yeah, uh, when you're changing disciplines like that, too um, We want to go slow because she's gonna be using different muscles in her body that she didn't use before uh, pulling a carriage is a lot different than doing hunters or jumpers or dressage. She has to use a lot of different parts of her body. So we just want to go slow and take it easy. But Sophie is raring to go, loves her. And this is like her whole start of her journey. This is the start of Sophie's journey. Like this is getting a horse when you're a teenager versus getting a horse when you're eight. And it's been beautiful. This journey has been beautiful so far. And we've loved actually keeping it to ourselves and just enjoying it. I've loved watching Sophie with her. But comment below what name you would add to Lady, besides Ladybug. Not so if Lady Bell. No, I like Lady Bell because Stella Bell, Lady Bell, she yeah. reminds me of a Lady Bell. You're not allowed to call her that. So he hates that name. So what's another name that you could put with Lady? We once had a dog that we rehomed through the Humane Society, like we rehabilitated her. We had her while she had her babies. She was a she was a shelter dog. We rehabilitated her while she had her babies. And once her babies were all gone, we we um, did interviews and stuff for a good home for her. And she went to this amazing couple and her name was Lady. And they ended up calling her Lady Jezebel, which I think is cute, but I can tell by Sophie's face that she doesn't. <laughs> Let's go for a hike. All right, we're gonna go down for a hike, get her fly mask because she clearly rolled. And six willows. And six willows fly mask. Let's see if she follows us. She might not because the other horses are down here and she's still kind of keeping her she is. She is? She's still kind of keeping her distance from them, but this field field is perfect for that. She is she can move around out here. She can <laughs> Ellie, <laughs> you're not a horse. Come here. Come here. You're not a horse. Stay with me. Not everybody likes little dogs running through the field. <laughs> Oh my, no wonder they're down here. This grass is, this grass is, this grass goes up to your butt. My heart starts beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit.